The European Union should extend the temporary ban on duty-free imports of Ukrainian grain for five countries – Poland, Romania, Bulgaria, Hungary and Slovakia. This is the position of EU Agriculture Commissioner Janusz Wojciechowski, presented at a hearing of the EU Parliament's Agriculture Committee to solve the issue of Ukrainian wheat exports. Last year, Brussels agreed to a duty-free import regime for Ukraine to support the country's economy. But this year, Ukrainian imports drove down grain prices in Central Europe, causing tension among farmers. I think that we need to prolongation to the end of the year. This is my position. Of, it's necessary to approval 27. My role is to, 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 to give the information and to inform about the potential risk which is not to, uh, in, in, the, in the option not to uh, prolong the, the, the ban. No, we will have the next uh, huge crisis in the frontline countries and in, in the market in these countries and, uh, and crisis uh, in the European Union. The idea contradicts the official line of the European Commission, which originally intended to end the export bans on the 15th of September. Ukraine opposes the import ban vehemently. At the meeting, the Commissioner also proposed subsidies for Ukraine to compensate grain exporters with 30 euros per ton for their losses. The other idea is um, to support the logistic, uh, to support the transport yeah, of grain when it is uh, transported to, to third countries. Yeah. And there are ideas around uh, to support uh, a ton of, uh, for example, a ton of wheat with uh, 30 euros, yeah, and this could be an incentive yeah, for traders to um, export it, uh, to export that grain to, towards um, uh, third uh, countries. However, this proposal has met with concerns from some members of parliament who believe the subsidies could distort the market.